The college talked to students, staff, the community, and the family members of the victims before deciding what to do with the space. The school received $4.25 million from the Oregon legislature to rebuild Snyder Hall. It's come up with these plans to rebuild existing offices and classrooms. We had people from other campuses who have had these types of events come and talk to us about lessons they had learned what to do with the place, how to involve your community, how to make sure you remember things in a way. The college is also going to add a healing garden inside the building to remember and honor the victims. School leaders tell me the exterior of the building will match the existing ones around campus. The school hopes to start construction this fall. They also hope to have the building finished by next fall term. Meanwhile, another memorial was revealed this afternoon, this one at St. Joseph Catholic Church. Approximately 100 people attended a memorial service in honor of the victims from last year's shooting. The service started at 3 p.m. with spiritual support and confession. The dedication of the memorial followed after. All victims were memorialized today, one of which was a member of the Catholic Church. The memorial service continued into tonight with mass, dinner, and spiritual support. In Roseburg tonight, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News.